Welcome back, my loyal cheese subjects. Maxwell here, bringing you another episode of Europa Universalis, playing in the Imperium Universalis mod, playing as Chi, of course. And we are on our route to trying to take over all of China, to unite all of China. But we have hit a roadblock, and those roadblocks are the Jin and the Chu, who allied my guy, who I have a freaking claim on. It super sucks. Actually, do I have a Chi? Conquest on Lu. Um, we do have a humiliate rival on you. Who are you allied to? The Chu? Of course, you're freaking allied to the Chu. What kind of crap is this? The Chu is getting in my way. Oh my god, you've allied everyone. Holy crap. Well then, uh, yeah, we're going to be stuck here for a while. I thought we were going to do something, but no, Chu decided to ally the world. And that causes some problems. Yeah, the Chu are now being asshats. So I can build roads everywhere. Uh, they are decent, but they don't give me as much money as I'd, as I'd want. I mean, it increases my movement. Very good. Uh, local development cost goes down, so if we ever get into development problems, we can spend it there. But, that's about it. That's another building possible. It costs a lot of money for not much to gain from it. So, eh. It's up in the air on whether I'd want to do something like that. Alright, you guys form up over here. And see what we get. How much are we making still? Hell. We are making bank. And I don't even need to make bank because I can reduce this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Also, if you haven't noticed, we can actually travel through these rivers. I don't know how far. Um, I think here, no, here's where it stops. Because I don't see a port here. Yeah, I think here's where it stops. But we can travel all the way down there, transport troops quick as hell if we want to. If we want to. But we don't need to. Ah, also, let us mothball our fort, save some more money there. Probably didn't even need the general at that point. That's actually kind of annoying. I, lost, I spent some military power for that. Nah, it's not the end of the world. I'm getting a 657 on this so far. Now, do I want to move this over to a diplomatic focus so I can get some more fabrication of claims? I also want to see what we can get here. Uh, Secretic faith is more like a humanist idea. Uh, it's very good, but I don't think I need to get this ret yet. I'd like it. I'd like to get it very much. But, maximum possible. Oh, I don't have any. Oof. Uh, where's the cultures? Alright, here, culture. And I want to write. Yeah, add another map mode except for culture. Alright. The Chi Wei Han Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna have to have a lot of these. Alright, let's, let's, let's keep looking at this, but... Oh my god, I definitely want this land, it's on my culture too! I hate you so much. Oh, all this is Zhao and okay, Wei. I don't know if this is spelled incorrectly because the culture of Wei, and then we have Wei like that. I don't know. Man, we have no promoted cultures currently, which means we have to try and see maybe something that will give us that. Syncretic Faith does it. I could do Expansionist, but I'm not going to be able to reach anywhere down there anytime soon. Now, there's a couple of places you can... Wow, why am I not finding this on the first try? Right, so we could do this, not going to, and we can do this, but these are way too far away. So all these areas can be done, but that's for future future, when we complete most of the conquest. So, uh, I'm thinking... If we follow on a Diplo-focused idea here, so we can quick, more quickly get fabrication of claim, which is totally neat. Now, huh? it, I want to say it's really wanted and needed, but Chu allied everyone, so I'm gonna have to wait ten years anyway. No, it, it, I don't need to do a focus. Let, let's let's look be out, uh, out of that way. So we want to do maybe a military idea because we need to fight better. Uh, or we want to do a 
idea that makes more st our land more stable as we take more land. More states would be nice, but we have enough right now. I mean, Secretic Faith is just the biggest one where we can just have so much. Yeah, it's so good. We could do superior religious ideas, because we're most likely just going to convert everybody. Or we can try and focus on some... It doesn't matter right now. I don't think I'm going to, in this episode, get to this point. We'll look at, at it in the next one, most likely. But for now, we just wait. I mean, that's the only thing I can do. Oh, wait, and... We build. Now, I said I was going to make two... Yeah, I can definitely afford more. So I'm going to make two 15 armies. I want five, so one more... of these guys, and then... Four more of this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. I can make more ships as well. I hunt pirates. Not really want to do that. Yeah, don't know. It really sucks that you allied people when you really shouldn't have. Shall in the shen. Oh, whatever. We'll let time pass and we'll see what happens. I wonder if there's going to be any wars at all at the beginning. How far can we see? No, oh, not far at all. Okay. So we can't even see most of the world. Oh yeah, how's my food going? I have a decent amount of food. Well, I'll get a thing where it says you run out of food or something. So I'll have to probably do something like food imports or food exports. Now, I don't have to select either and just maintain this. But I have to pay money to bring in food if I ever run into that problem there. Which right now is not the end of the world since we're making bank. How are you making so much money? Ridiculously awesome. Oh! Oh god. Alright, Ling. A 3-3-1, man. Alright, Zhen. Wait, what? Oh, because he's a semi-autonomous. No, he's autonomous. Oh, he's fully autonomous now? Which means you can ally people? Well, that's super weird. Uh, sure. I guess. I, I don't know. All I want to do is take out the Lu and the Yan and the Jin. I just want to expand this way for now. Uh, they're doing this stuff for no reason. Like, you cannot do anything right now. So, starting a fabrication or starting any spy network is silly. Yeah, alright. We're on the air with you. Alright, so our air is a 3 through one better than our current one, but I mean, come on, you can't get anything better? They get way better guys than we do. Oh my god, the Wu have a 4-4-5. And a 5-3-3, three, three. oh my god, I want to play as the Wu now. Uh, Maxwell here, uh, back with another episode of playing as the Wu. Yeah! <laughs> Rather than playing as this guy. Oh god. I mean, it's not the end of the world, it's just kind of rather annoying that you can't get any good freaking leaders. Alright, how are we on money now? Oh my god, ridiculously well. Alright, so we have a bunch of people. How are we looking on this military thing? The Jin are still ahead of us. Oh my... Jesus! So I'm thinking that the first one we have to do is a defensive war. Because, uh, I mean, I can do the favors thing and bring people in. Uh, Great Feast, National Unrest, ooh, booyah, and some prestige. Fortunately, that's going down, but hey, not the end. You bastards! That's totally not okay. So absolutionism raises by one, if I do this. Uh, absolutionism is over here. It... Higher it is, the greater benefits we gain in administration, efficiency, and discipline. I assume there's some sort of downside, though, maybe. I don't know, for now, I definitely don't want to be freaking negative one stability. Because that affects you more than you'd think. Legitimacy goes down. Yeah, it's really bad. Monthly autonomy change? Nope. I very much like it not to have positive like that. Alright, um... Corruption goes down, monthly autonomy change goes down, da da da. No more legitimacy though. 
So I don't know if I'm gonna boost this again, especially since I kind of want to get to this idea of a group, which means if I have to boost stability all the time, I really should focus on a military or diplomatic idea to begin with. Also the fact that administration is needs for taking over land. I could decide that I want to uh, subjugate some people, like make them my vassals. Instead, like blue, I don't need to. Ally like the biggest people around me. The Yan Chu Chen. Eh, of course. Probably gonna bring in. I don't know. I can technically declare war because of a humiliate one. There's no point at all in doing that. Actually, I haven't checked. No, I'll have to wait for you guys to finish. But I'm gonna check to see whether. Uh, if you declare war, because I know there's some restrictions in some cases where you do a specific passes belly and then you can't take anything else from it. So I'm thinking humiliate, you might not be able to take some land, which kind of ends that idea. All right, so they're doing food exports and imports. How are we on the food thing? I'm not quite certain. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do food imports. I, I never truly understood the thing, because I mean, look, most of my places are food related. Actually, fewer than I thought. A lot fewer than I thought. No, no, these are rice. These are rice. I thought there was like uh, something else. But rice, rice, cattle, fish, cheese, fish, fish. Yeah, they're relatively food related, so I should be okay, right? Also, 50% uh, ask for money. Gain 5 influence, lose 5 that. What's this? Between 35%. So. Loyalty is at least 35% I get stuff. Appoint advisor. 50% cost. Plus one, is this a... I think this is the same position one though. So I can do this, which is very good. I like Diplo power. Gain five influence, gain five influence. I don't want them to gain too much influence. Zhao have an influence due to that. If they have greater than that, 80%, it will cause some risks. I'm gonna ask for that. I'm gonna ask for some money right now. Actually, I definitely don't want to do that. I can definitely ask for some money. Yeah, and if I ask for some money, so, yeah, I'll just do that. And this will go up over time once it'll fix itself. Yeah, monthly change is bad. So, we're all good. We got some money, we got some Diplo. I mean, we didn't get much Diplo. 25 isn't that great. But it's something. We're slowly increasing. Granted, the blue are so much better. 4, 4, 5, man. They're gonna get to technologically, be way more technologically advanced than I am. Oh my god. Lose opinion of really? One of our counselors seems to be disloyal. Recently, I had many disputes with Gong Moon. Our spies reported about secret meetings of. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Advisor's an asshat. Recovery speed or military technology cost reduction? I think I kind of want to do the military. Rec yeah, let's do this. Manpower seems fine. I mean, yeah, we have a lot of manpower. And we're not going to be able to go to war for any time soon, so what's their point, really? Until I can call these guys in on a do drop of a dime with uh, ten favors. And I got three. Uh, we will gain our next favor, yeah, once a year. Seven years. Oh, right, what I could do, points of interest, click on a map. Um, Jin, my good man, all of your goddamn land, that's you Jin, yep, at least to Yi, uh, I guess we'll do something like this, 
mean, this can be the Chin land. What's the Wu's land? That. Well, I'm sorry, Wu. This is going to be mine. I don't know if that's going to affect us or anything, but I like to rival. Song Yan. Okay. Wu Yan Jo Sang. Wait, what? I'm not allied to anybody like that. Am I the Qin, Zhao, Wu, and Zhen? Oh, are you? Did I see Miss Reed? Oh, they're allied to somebody I'm rivaled with. Zhao, Chao, Jin. Yep, the Jin. God damn it. Don't ally those people. I ally people who are friendly with me. Alright, the Zhao are done. So let us look at what we could do. Now I can do Humiliate. Okay, so I can do this, and there's no restrictions. It's just that monetary reparations and forced tributary state, or and humiliate are free. But they're allied with the two in the way, and I don't have any possibility here yet. No point. Right, should I just save up money and wait for? Yeah, I should probably just save up money and wait for building the shrine or something rather than building roads. I mean, roads are nice. It's just, I mean, back in this day, you definitely want to build roads because it's way better. It's just the improvement for roads in the game isn't as good as it should be. Or it doesn't feel as good. Like, there should be, like, higher trade power or something because, I mean, you're able to move quicker. Not just you. You're, uh, like, the, uh, the merchants are able to move quicker and all that. Should I even start building a spy network? Unfortunately, it kind of seems like I should attack him because he can only bring in these two. Whereas if I attack you, he can bring in him and him. Way bigger. <laughs> Way worse. Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus. 12,000 here. He's got 30 something thousand, right? 39,000. Alright, where's the Chin? Hey, 27,000, good. And the Wu? 23,000. I mean, technically speaking, if I wanted to look at this, the An and the Chin have 59,000 plus 12,000, so 71,000. Now we'll look at my allies. Uh, 27, so we have 50,000, 80,000. If I can get these guys in too, then yeah, we will be definitely the stronger opponent. So I, I should be able to do that. I should be able to take as much land as I want here. Well, one, two, three, four. Those four, unless I want to take more. No, nope, that's well, all good. We have horses and there's food. Which I need, I think. I, I keep looking at this thing. It looks like we're fine. It looks like we make enough food within this area that we should be okay. A okay. But I'm feel really thinking that I'm starting way too early on this because I can't fabricate a claim for how much? Five years. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, just improve relations with the people who I'm allied to in this meantime. Rat plague? No, not my food supplies. <laughs> That's really not good. Um, merchant ship. No, my money. Oh my god. Slavers on our coast. Yeah, send them away. I get prestige from this. I don't really need slaves right now. Well, more money. For two years, I get slaves. Who's not? I'll take this prestige boost. And prestige is pretty decent. Because all those nice, nice modifiers right there. You're the legitimacy is the biggest one that I'd like. I'm not these wars. As many of these wars as I can get, I want to get prestige. Prestige having it at a hundred, hundred is absolutely fantastic for your nation. So I was thinking about doing this, but I'm gonna get the administration power. See, I I do like the point of me wanting to be a little bit behind time, so I get discounts. But at the same time, I want to be also ahead of time because I believe that gives you like a bonus, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. 
Yeah, see, so Yawn got caught. And in this new one, you cannot, for an entire year, you can't do anything. How much does it even fabrication cost? Oh, okay. At least 25, all right. That's decent. Um, you're doing that. Should I like improve relations with somebody like you? Allied to... Oh, I'm allied to the Wu, which you're allied, rivaled with. The Chi and the Goddess Wu, okay, so they both think that... Alright, so I'm gonna have to like, pick somebody like, completely different. Uh, the problem is that these guys aren't nearly strong enough. The Ba and the B. 17,000. The B are slightly stronger. Uh, I guess I gotta at least improve relations with some people. Just for, for the meantime. No food, yeah, see this super sucks. All those negative modifiers that you get. Monthly time, reinforcement, manpower, national garrison growth. National unrest. The only good thing is that I'm pretty good on the unrest dealing. But I don't want to do that. It's just because of the rat plague. But I, I guess I'll have to do food imports. Alright, here we go. Food import, lose 10, change food supply by 20. Really expensive, but you can do it. Yeah, lost effects good. Alright, woo is finished. Uh... I went the bee bar. The bee bar. I want to change that. I don't know if I need any more food. Yeah, there you go. Yep, import the food. How? I wish there was a better way to like kind of look at it. I'm 135 now, and yearly consumption is uh, around there. Well, I'll keep that on for now, main reason, because I, uh, oh, I definitely don't need it like this. Main reason because it only asks, you. oh no, it does ask you all the goddamn time. Alright, maybe I definitely don't want that. Yeah, let's stop food imports. I, I don't really need to spend the money. I, I don't want to spend most of my income on just that stuff. It seems silly, if you ask me. Alright, so you said you were going to be done on two or three. Ooh, you're very good. How much of a morale? Ooh, land morale by 0.15. That's actually a major boost. You need that one. And the army camp is so good. It's not necessary right now because I have the manpower. The small marketplace and the shrine are way more important. 02, 202, and April 203. Really wish I could ask for this again. Oh, now it's 50. Son of a bitch! Why were you only 25 before? God damn it. Uh, you, Gong Mu, are now industrious and steward. That's pretty decent, I gotta say. Goods produced plus 10%. Which means that maybe I think uh, more food is being produced. Which would also be very good. Now I want to, like I said, get those four claimed. And, okay, wow, I can claim every single one of these provinces. The good thing is that if I beat back the, the Jin, and, the, so, the Yan will bring in the, sorry, the Chu. Damn, it's the Chu in the Wu, in the way. How is the Jin? Uh, that's unfortunate. I'll be able to at least weaken the Chu. Oh, boy. I say the Chu versus the Chin and the Wu. Twenty-seven thousand versus twenty-seven and twenty-four. So it's pretty much these guys are fighting this guy, with maybe a little help through here, take out Wei. It's pretty much m me by myself versus the Yan in the Wei. Yeah. The Yan twenty-two thousand, not great. That's a lot. Thirteen thousand. Oh, I wish my force limit were slightly bigger. It's gonna be have to be like semi defensive. Which super sucks. Or I'm gonna have to focus on like crushing him 
like completely and then moving back this way. I'm thinking that I definitely want to build some more units. Build four more units. Yeah. Do I want a 15 size army? Do I want a 20 size army for everything? Because if I'm looking at this, a lot of these places, yeah, 15 is probably... Yeah, definitely want to keep it at 15, unfortunately. I mean, the really, of course, uh, where is it? The grasslands and such are 20 something, but 15 seems to be the limit. I think I'm going to make a f limit, uh, another army of four uh, spearmen. These are the, just going to be guys that just go around and siege stuff. And they're relatively cheap, so can't really say anything against it. So you're just going to group up and then fight, and they'll bring us to the force limit, and that will help. Now, like I said, I'm going to try and crush this guy right at the beginning. Not worry about the yawn as much and hope that these guys will be able to fight these guys. Oh, though, wait, I can bring in the Zhen. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Zhen will definitely... Actually, I don't know which way to go, but if he goes up here, that will be really, really good. Alright, you're all good. Keep improving. As I wait for this stuff to go down. No, not a drought. Oh, not provide any food? Oh god, which got who got drought? Can I see through this? Crap. How do I see who got drought? This is drought? No 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 Fudge Yeah. Every single one of my places got drowned. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Well, I, at least most people are in the same situation. Yeah, everybody's in the same situation. Although I don't, I don't know, you two. Wow. This is a ridiculously bad drought. No, the Chu are pretty much. God damn it, Chu. Yeah, it's northern China. Yep. The Wu and the Chu are completely safe. And the. Oh, Jesus. The Xu? Or is that also Chu? Or Xu? I'm, I'm not even going to try anymore. Um, that's not great, which means I need to start food imports because the drought. Fudge! Fudge you, game! Alright, you, 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 and you. Go over here to the capital. Hey, we're trading in silk. Noise. What? Lost a minute. Wait, why? Are we not the largest? Wait, what do we even get benefits of trade for? Let's look at modifiers. Benefits of trade. Yeah. Oh, it's not the highest in the world. Ah. Oh, that's definitely not the end of the world. An alliance from Song. Now, you did ask for this before. But you're rivals with them. I don't really want anything to get in between. Alliance with Song. Hmm. I don't want that. It's really a, it's a nice offer, but after the Lu, I'm going right after you, Song. I don't want to break an alliance like that. So I'm sorry. It, it, legitimately, I'm gonna go this way, this way, and this way, and try and take as much of this land over here as I can, not giving much to my friendly individuals over there. No. How long is this drought supposed to technically last? For a year. Wonderful. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. We are going to come back in the middle of a massive drought. Every single province is having a drought, which is just reducing productivity and uh, local goods produce much 50% ridiculously bad so I need to do food imports but I hope you enjoyed this episode and I shall see you in the next one where we hope to have uh, the next levels here and we can start fabricating stuff but until then ah, bah, bah.